All right, hi, Gemini. This is going to be your reading, your love reading specifically. This is for Gemini placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Be sure to flip the script and pick which side of the story you're on, okay? So, Gemini placements, what do they need to know in love right now? Okay, so we got unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay, Gemini. So we got to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. So Gemini's, I don't know who's on the end of this. So I don't know if you're into someone who's, you're into someone more than they're into you or vice versa. Or maybe you want something more than someone else or vice versa, right? What else? Or maybe somebody's just not ready for what the other person is. What else for Gemini placements? We got flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yeah, so for some of you guys, maybe you want to have fun or somebody wants to have fun here, but the other person wants something more serious. All right. Um, some of you guys could have options. Before I started your reading, um, there was the... The time was two, two, two. So you can have choices and options. So if one person, if one thing doesn't work out with one person, just know you will have other choices, okay? And then we have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So somebody here could be manifesting you, or you could be manifesting someone, or somebody's manifesting love here in general. We got deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. For some of you guys, I don't know if you guys feel or you felt let on by someone or somebody feels this way about you. Okay, somebody could be withdrawing their energy or again, this could be how somebody is seeing you. For others of you, um, maybe somebody is showing you with their actions that the feelings are just not mutual. This is what you're doing. But we'll see. <clears throat> What's unrequited love? The star here some yeah the lovers in reverse some of you guys aquarius energy you can have aquarius in your chart you could be dealing with one or you're in aquarius with gemini placements okay but for um for some of you you're healing from unrequited love situations okay what's unrequited love for gemini placements I feel like if a lot of you guys have experienced that in the past, you're no longer experiencing that. I feel like that's something you're healing from. That's like behind you. Like, yeah. Ten of Wands, Saturn and Sagittarius. Okay, yeah. Some of you guys are needing to put down old baggage. Okay. Also, for some of you guys, I'm getting, even when somebody does show you they're interested in you, you guys may revert back to like a very negative way of thinking because of some past baggage, some past wounds that you need, that's, that's causing baggage that you need to put down. Okay. Some of y'all are, some of you guys with this unrequited love, it's not, it may not even be, it could be past stuff from past people, not even new people that you're dating or dealing with. So just be careful with that, okay? What's unrequited love for Gemini placements? Yeah, four swords here in reverse, Jupiter and Libra. So it could be anxiety around love here. Okay, a lot of... Yeah, I feel like a lot of this is like your thoughts. What's this ten of wands in reverse? Yeah, the world here. Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. I also heard Gemini again. So you could you could be watching for a specific Gemini placement. Okay. Or you could be dealing with another Gemini or somebody that has that in their energy. But I feel like, again, you guys are closing out a cycle of unrequited love. So now if you guys are dealing with new people, it's like once you sense or feel something, the feelings aren't reciprocated, you go about your business like you should. You're always going to come across. Listen, everybody's not going to love you. Everybody's not going to love you. Everybody's not going to like you. Everybody's not going to want to stick around. It's how you deal with that. It's do you choose to overcompensate? Do you does the, do those abandonment or um, insecurity wounds kick in and you start chasing and start doing the most? Or you say, you know what? Okay, clearly they're showing me with their actions that I'm not, it's not hitting here. So let me go about my business. I feel like you guys are closing out a cycle, whether whether it's with a particular person who was un, where it was unrequited, okay, or just people in general. The world's here. Some of you guys could have met somebody online on a dating app. Uh, you could like to travel. This person could, okay. Or you could have met somebody online, social media. Some of you guys have a social media platform or a platform, period.
yeah the fool here aquarius energy yeah for you guys are going into new uh new things some of you guys also may have a habit of jumping into things really fast and for some of you guys again you're closing out the cycle it could you know i feel like a lot of you guys are just over the past really somebody from your past could be thinking about you man you don't even want this person you you, you want you want bigger better you're on to bigger and better literally for my ladies literally bigger and better okay that's pockets dick all of it <laughs> and for and for my man you're just saying you're on to bigger and better like you're on to bigger and better woman like you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, with the fool here, it's like you guys close. You're no longer stuck in an old cycle. You're starting over again. Your love life is going to look different because you're thinking different. You are different. You Hermit, you can have Virgo in your energy. You could be a Virgo with Gemini or Scorpio placements. Okay, but you've done, you've done the introspection. Some of you guys are taking a break from love if you're single. Okay, or you have. For others of you, if you are dating someone, living with someone, married, you could be feeling a bit, um, you could be doing some inner self-reflection here to kind of like see the parts you play in certain things. Okay, what's this fool here? What's the fool? Yeah, two of cups, Venus and Cancer. So this is crazy because it's under unrequited love. So some of y'all are, okay, Six of Cups, Scorpio energy. Somebody from your past is still hung up on you. We got Pisces, Scorpio with the Six of Cups, Pisces with the uh, with the Hangman here. And then we have um, King of Cups in reverse, Cancer, Pisces, heavy Scorpio, heavy Pisces energy. This could be a water sign here. It could be a Libra, October Libra, October Scorpio. Okay, King of Swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could have been a Capricorn in January, Capricorn, January, Aquarius. Uh, a Sag here, November Sag or November Scorpio with the Nine of Wands in reverse. Yeah, for some of you guys, somebody from your past is still hung up on you, but this person is still emotionally toxic. They're still emotionally immature, manipulative. They could even be living with somebody married, okay? They could already be with someone else. This person still hung up on you. They could want to reconcile with you. Some of, are, some of you guys are going into a new connection and you could be deciding to curve somebody. Somebody's a little too late. You already put that to rest. You already laid something to rest. You're no longer hung up on it. You're not even thinking about this person. And if you are, it's not from a place of you've missed them or you're bitter. You know, maybe they come in your head every now and then or whatever. But I feel like some of y'all are connecting to a past life soulmate. This somebody. This could be someone that you already know. If this someone, if this is, if you are dating someone or you're about to be dating someone you know, this could be someone that you are aware. Like, say you guys went to school together or you guys used to work for the same company, but you never really dated. You never actually dated, never had sex. You know, y'all, or if y'all did have sex, it, it's new. It just happened. Like, it's a new, you know, this is, even if it's somebody that you're aware of, that you have some type of history with, that you know of right you guys never actually really dated before and if you know like nothing really got off the ground for some of you guys maybe it was just sex maybe you guys didn't even do that yet right for others of you somebody this could be like a new person that feels like you've known them they feel like a familiar to you this that it could be because it's a past life soulmate or this is just somebody that's on your level for others of you you do have somebody from your past who misses you they're thinking about you they're missing the memories they some of you guys this person can't sleep they could have rejected you when you were trying to show them love. Now they on you, but you're already in a new connection. They could have chose a new connection over you. Okay, for some of you, and now the person they're with don't want them, or they don't want the person that they thought they was winning with. What's the uh, four swords in reverse? Yeah, five of pentacles. Somebody here could be sick. Mercury and Taurus. Or this can also be a scarcity mindset when it comes to love. This could be insecurity. So some of you guys, you need to, before you get back out there and start dating again, could you have a connection coming in? Okay, with the two of cups here, you, you have a connection coming in. Before you get back out there and really start dating, make sure you get those abandonment wounds in check. You know, just because this person doesn't text you back right away doesn't mean they don't like you. It doesn't mean they're with somebody else, you know, um, just because... They don't really, they may not be up your ass like the other person was. It doesn't mean anything bad. Some of you guys, I know for me, <clears throat> I'll speak on my situation. My ex, he's a Capricorn by, but not that it matters, but he's a Capricorn. Venus and Aquarius. I think his Mars is in Sag. His moon was Scorpio or Libra, but anyways, an Aquarius Mercury too. Um, he, We talked like all day. Like he worked, he would 
have to be at work by three and he'll be up by like 12 or one we'll be on the phone from that time until the time he got home which was 11 or 12 which was 12 p.m and sometimes we'll be on the phone up and, and going into the next day till like 4 or 5 a.m and he was toxic as fuck emotionally unavailable emotionally abusive he was very overly critical very cold very detached so don't get it twisted just because a person can shower you with a whole bunch of attention, it doesn't mean they respect you. So just keep that in mind. You don't want somebody that doesn't text you back at all, but they could be they're on social media or somebody that um, doesn't pay you no attention. No, that's not what we're saying. Just don't confuse attention with respect or somebody taking you serious, right? Page of Wands in reverse. This could be pessimism. Okay, you guys are needing to approach, you need, you need to have a more lighthearted and more fun approach to love. Don't be so serious. Don't, you know, five of pentacles. Yeah, six of swords, Mercury and Aquarius. I feel like a lot of you guys are healing from these abandonment wounds, from overthinking everything, or you need to. Okay, nine of swords here, Mars and Gemini. Yes, this could be anxiety surrounding love. For some of you guys, this is like a generational issue. For some of y'all okay so this could be like some type of something on your mother's side of the your mother uh your mother's lineage here you could be carrying your mother's wounds based on what she went through with your father okay six of swords here you have the strength here some of y'all are going to a, a very loyal you and like really like a loyal you and strong bond with somebody Somebody here could be sick. Okay, they could be somebody could be healing and getting rest restoring something. You guys could be getting over a cold. Yeah, somebody could need to go speak to a psychiatrist or somebody could need to go see a doctor. Okay, that for some of you. But six of swords here. That was Leo. You can have Leo in your chart be dealing with one with six of swords. Some of y'all have a strong bond with somebody. Yeah, the moon, Cancer, Pisces. Yeah, the mother, emotions, your subconscious. Something about your, something about your subconscious programming. Maybe with how you see yourself, or how you see the opposite sex, or same sex, whatever you date. If you date, some y'all are in same sex connections, but whatever, whether it's the same sex or opposite sex. Most importantly, how you see yourself. How you see yourself is how people are going to treat you and it's going to be reflected back through that. So if you think, well, people don't ever provide for me or women always use me or nobody ever takes me serious, do you take yourself serious? Do you? Is there anything that you do in life that you take serious that, you, that you're committed to? There's something about your subconscious beliefs that you need to move away from mentally. It's not serving you. And realize some things are just out of your control no matter how good of a person you are no matter how you show up no matter how put together you think you are some things are just out of your control regardless and everybody has free will okay the moon including you what's the moon here yeah high priestess cancer pisces energy somebody's first or last initials could be b or j for some of you guys, make sure nobody is like keeping you hidden or hiding and you know, like just, you know, listen to your intuition. Some of you guys, again, you could be learning, learning to distinguish what's your intuition and what's fear and insecurity. Okay, what's this two of cups? Yeah, eight of swords here, Jupiter and Gemini, get out of your head. Get out of your head, stop overthinking connections, okay? If you're, if you're so much in your head, you're not going to, it's going to be hard to be in your, how can you be in your heart space if you're in your head? And if you're in your head and not in your heart space, you're going to meet people who don't operate from their heart space. They operate from their mind or ego. What's flirt? Extend your light heart or energy to others for Gemini and love, Gemini placements. Ace of Cups. Some of y'all have new love coming in, Gemini. Y'all have new love coming in. Ace of Cups is fertility, it's happiness. Some of you guys... <clears throat> Uh, you could have gone through a breakup for some of you, or you could be at disharm. You could there could be disharmony between you and someone. This person could be hiding things, okay, for some of you, or this was a past person. What's flirt? Trust your intuition. What's the high priestess real quick? 
Yes, King of Swords is here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn energy as well. Again, January, Capricorn, January, Aquarius. Trust your intuition. You are very discerning. You know how to get to the heart of the matter. You know, you know this. Trust what you know. You know when somebody fucks with you, you know when they don't. What's flirt? Ace of Swords. Truth, clarity, awareness. I can't make, yeah, Ace of some. ooh. Gemini, some of y'all know what you're getting, exactly what you've been asking, exactly what you want. Definitely new love here. Ace of Cups, so if you're, if you're single and you want to get out there and date, spruce yourself up and get back out there because you have new love. You have victory and love coming in. Okay, Ace of Cups. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. Jupiter energy, Sag. Uh, okay, so Sag, Pisces energy, Queen of Pentacles. This could be you guys or somebody in your energy feeling insecure about their finances or just feeling insecure, period. Maybe about your bodies for my moms out there. Or you just, you know, it could be your finances or you guys just not really feeling secure and grounded within yourself, within your power, with your abilities, which you have to offer. Some of you guys are tying whether you're worthy of love based on your finances. That's, I don't want to say that's a man thing, but that's a man's problem. <laughs> Or for my ladies, you're tying your your worthy of love based on how you look. You're gonna have to. It's it's still you got bad bitches that get played every day. For my men out there, you got millionaires who get used and conned every and tricked every day. So I, you know what I'm saying? Like it it really doesn't matter. Somebody, you know, don't focus too much on how you look. And it's somebody for everybody. Focus on your internal. People feel that. People go off that. You could be the baddest bitch, the most handsome and rich man in the room. And if you don't, if a person can feel like they can play with you, if they sense or smell a weakness, they're going to play on that. So just, and I'm not, again, when I say that, it doesn't mean to have your guard up. It just means you have to be secure within yourself internally. It doesn't matter what you have or what you look like. For my men and women, it doesn't matter. Attractive, rich, su successful, handsome, sexy, smart intelligent fun those people get played every day every day every day so just keep that in mind okay the will of fortune in reverse again some things are out of your control go with it go some of you guys um timing could be a factor with this will of fortune in reverse don't try to force nothing there could be opposing forces that are working behind the scenes in your love life for some of you okay this could be an unexpected pregnancy so be careful with the will of fortune in reverse and again, the aces are all about potential. Okay, they're all about potential. It's what you do with them. The, the, the aces are hands coming out of the cloud. This is like, it's the, it's an, it's the universe saying, here's a potential for this. Here's an opportunity for that. What are you going to do with it? And just because there's potential in something doesn't mean it's the right time. You know, timing is everything. Go to fortune in the list. Yeah, the chariot. Somebody could want to renew something with you, Gemini. Somebody here could want to fight for their position. They could, and this person could, you know, that they they could have put you in a third party in the past. They could have been involved with the mother of their child, father of their child. For some of you, or this is you. Okay, but I feel like somebody wants growth and expansion with you. But this person could be avoiding some type of change. And if they're avoiding some type of change, it's going to be a blockage. This person may even cause a blockage in your finances. So be careful. Seven of Wands, Mars and Leo. Somebody wanted to defend their position. This is you or someone close to you. The Chariot, Cancerian energy. This is moving forward. Overcoming obstacles. Just keep going. Keep going. You know, it's it's the chariot could be a forceful energy. Don't let your emotions get the better of you. What's the chariot? Yeah, the magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. You you know, it's get get out there. If one thing doesn't work, go on to something else. You don't have to be intimate with everybody you encounter. If you're the, if you're a man, you don't have to invest a whole bunch of money into every woman you're dating or seeing. You'll know who's worth it. 
Okay, this is getting, this is, the chariot is about knowing what you want, having a sense of direction, having your boundaries and your standards in check. What are your, do you even know what your boundaries and your standards are? If you, if you don't, you should get on that, write a list. Okay. I feel like somebody here is, some of you guys, there could be negative patterns on repeat with that Wheel of Fortune in reverse in regards to love. So just be careful. Don't ever feel like you have to be stuck with, well, I'm a, well, they've been already showing me so much attention, so I'm on as well. No, 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 no. Don't be, know when to move forward. Know when to cut your losses. Know when something is not worth your time, your, your money, your energy, or your, your, and your investment, period. Magician. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So be careful with people, you know, playing on your weakness or yet or thinking that you're naive. Okay, again, this is that doesn't mean be guarded. It just means to trust your intuition, use your discernment. Using your discernment and your intuition isn't about being hyper vigilant and being on guard. Ace of Pentacles. Is this something that could materialize? Is this something solid? There could be missing, you know, there could be maybe certain people are just good for fun. And you know what I'm saying? Like, you're going to have, you know, yeah, okay. Oh, I can see potential. Don't put all your stocks in that. Unless it's solid. Unless and, unless you can see and really feel that it is. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, two of Pentacles here in reverse. Jupiter and Capricorn. For those of you who are juggling or if somebody is juggling you, yeah, Emperor in reverse, Aries. Ace of Wands in reverse. Somebody here could be, this could be like a father figure here that could have been sleeping around. They could be sick. Oh, this could be a woman in masculine energy. Just be careful. Uh, I'm also getting somebody here could be losing their attraction to somebody. Somebody could also have erectile dysfunction. That could be someone's karma. But um, this could be father wounds that you guys have. Two of pentacles in reverse. Somebody, yes, this could be feeling overwhelmed. There, again, something could be going on with someone's finances. This could be somebody, this could be bad patterns here that you're going to have to overcome or push through. This is clarity, right? You're going to have to, again, with the magician, use your clarity. You have the skills, you have the resources to navigate love. Don't just go off of potential. Don't just go off of feeling. Go off of what you can see, too. Go off of what a person has shown you. No one to drop, you know, someone here. And no one, somebody's not fully, you know, invested. Somebody here, something could be going on with someone's finances, Ace of Swords or yours. King of Pentacles. To heavy Capricorn energy. You can have Capricorn in your chart. You could be a Capricorn with Gemini placements. But the King of Pentacles is Taurus, Aries energy. Somebody could be an April Taurus, April Aries. What's this King of Pentacles? Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, Virgo, Leo energies, August Leo, August Virgo, Knight of Swords, Gemini, Taurus, May Taurus, May Gemini energy. Yeah, somebody here. So there could be somebody that's trying to build themselves financially. This could be a new love interest for some of you or somebody that you know, you know, flipping a switch. This person could be building themselves. Okay, that you could have met this person at work, or maybe things start off as just business, as just friends, and it progresses to something more. But there could be somebody, there's an offer coming in, it could be coming in a bit slow. Somebody could be in debt. Maybe this person, the only thing they have to offer you is love, okay, is friendship, is something fun. What's this Knight of Pentacles? Okay, Page of Pentacles in reverse. So. Yeah, this could be someone, this could be your friends. I don't know if somebody's getting friend zone or somebody just feels like they don't really have something to offer. Somebody here could be really wishy-washy. Something could be off and on, hot and cold between you and someone. Somebody could be acting like they have more money than they actually do. Okay, yeah, for somebody could be penny pinching, which is fine, but... I feel like they should say that instead of acting one way. Page of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, Four of Wands. 
Venus and Aries, Knight of Wands, Sag, Scorpio energy, November Sag, November Scorpio. This person could be already committed somewhere for some of you. Some of you guys can have a roommate here that could be trying to flirt with your person whenever they come over. Or you, your person could have a roommate who tries to flirt with you. Nine of Wands in reverse. This could be with the Two of Pentacles. Somebody here could be a bit unstable. Somebody here could be also a bit immature. Yeah, Moon and Taurus with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody here could be giving to others or they could be breadcrumbing you not really seeing your value. Somebody's finances could be getting in the way. Okay, somebody could also be trying to do some type of spell work to uh, fuck with someone's money or fuck with their stability. This could be someone that they live with, someone that you live with, someone in your community, your family, or someone that you have a family with or a child with for some of you, or this is your person. Somebody here could be married. Okay, what's the nine of wands in reverse? Somebody could be really impulsive. Nine of wands in reverse. Yeah, seven of wands. So you could be dealing with somebody, Gemini's, that's hot tempered. This person could want to pop up on you, but they don't really have much to offer you. This person, they don't really have no stability. No, they, they could be living with someone for some of you. Seven of wands here. Mars and uh, I heard Mars and Scorpio, but Mars and Mars and Aries, Venus and Aries, but this is Mars and Leo with the Seven of Wands. Yeah, this person could be a bit impulsive, hot tempered. They want to come in and like, I don't know, defend something, defend their position. Some of you guys, this per somebody here could be blocked, or somebody something is blocked. Something somebody could be being blocked from coming into your energy, or something is you're being. If some if somebody has rejected you, it's for your highest good. I'm going to put it like that. I don't care if they're new or old. Somebody, something is being rejected for your highest good. Okay. Seven of Wands. Yeah, strength here. It's for your protection. Leo energy. Heavy Leo energy. Some of you guys may need to set boundaries with a father figure or whoever you have kids with or this is your person. Okay, yeah, some of y'all need to stick to your standards, defend yourself, set boundaries, you know, have the courage to stand up. You may have somebody has to stand up to someone or have courage to stick to your boundaries. What's this two of pentacles in reverse? Even if it gets a little lonely, don't settle. Yeah, the lovers in reverse. Somebody here could be bisexual. They could be trying to figure out their sexuality, Gemini energy. Somebody's yin and yang energies could be out of balance. Somebody could be suppressing that. Somebody could be in toxic masculinity, whether it's a woman or a man here. Okay. Yeah, empress upright, the emperor in reverse. So toxic masculinity. Somebody could be being too passive. Okay, this could be you or your person. Some of y'all need to like take initiative in your love life. Be more ambitious. Stop letting your past dictate how you move or how you think about new people or yourself. What's calling in your soulmate for Gemini basement and love? Yeah, page of wands in reverse. You need to be a bit more optimistic. Yeah, some of y'all need to emotionally abandon and walk away from things from your past. It's affected your love life, okay? For some of you calling in your soulmate. There could be somebody from your past life. And this could be a false twin. Some, if you guys were thinking this was your twin, they're not. You don't know who this person is. This is, could be somebody that was that could be trying to cause blockages here, but you're being protected from someone. Because somebody could be, this person could be hot-headed, a little unhinged, calling in your soulmate. Yeah, King of Cups in reverse, child, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra energy, October Libra, October Scorpio, Eight of Wands, Mercury, and Sag. I feel like somebody is trying to do some type of like work or spell work or manip somebody could be trying to fuck with the energies. I feel like you're being protected. So you need to pay attention to your dreams. With that moon there, the, the high priestess, the king of swords, pay attention to your dreams. Page of 
somebody could be trying to confuse you. Page of Wands in reverse. Yeah, the Hermit. Some of you guys may need to do some inner child healing, Virgo energy, do some go inward here. You could have, somebody here could have been upset, uh, abused as a child, trigger warning, okay? Or you could have been dealing with a parental figure who was either physically absent or very emotionally absent. Or this could have been an ex. Somebody here could be taken. It could be married already. So I don't know if this is you or somebody else. And I don't know if somebody here is trying to step out on whatever this is. What's this hermit here? Yeah, five of wands here in reverse. Saturn and Leo. Yeah, it's some of you guys need to, there's some type of inner conflict here. It's like you're, you're wanting one thing, but what you're calling in by way of your thoughts and how you see yourself or a particular person, a situation or people in general, it's it's, it's kind of, there's a, contra something is contradicting. So some of y'all need to go within here because you could be having some type of inner conflict. So there's definitely some shadow work, some introspection that is needed. Five of Wands in reverse. Somebody can also want to make amends with you. But this person is like, I don't know, five of wands in reverse. Yeah, three of pentacles. Somebody could want to build, somebody could want to rebuild or cooperate with you. Okay. Or your spirit guides are trying to help you with something. Three of pentacles, Mars and Capricorn. I also heard Mars and Taurus. Yeah, something about your something about your childhood, your inner child, Aquarius energy with the star, uh, six of cups, Scorpio. I heard Aries, Leo, and Sag, but there's something that needs to be healed. This could be your own, like, you know, your vulnerability. Some of you guys need to be more vulnerable, more heart-centered. Instead of instead of being mind-centered, you need to be more heart-centered. So you can attract people who are more heart-centered rather than mind-centered. Just because you're an air sign, Gemini, you're the lovers. You're a lover. You love to love. Okay, somebody from your past could want to rebuild something with you. They could want to make amends. You may have a child or kids with this person. For others of you, this could be new people coming in that are going to be assisting you in learning new lessons. All right, three of pentacles. Some of you guys are meeting people at your workplace or in your line of work. People that are going to be here to help and assist you. What's three of pentacles? Your guys are trying to help and assist you. So you need to figure out what you want. Eight of cups. Yeah, you're being guided to walk away from certain people, places, and things, mentalities. If you're holding grudges, there's resentment. You need to let go of that. Leave the past in the past, and that's what you're that's what you're trying to get help on, or you're needing help with. Eight of Cups. Yeah, Eight of Wands. You need to leave the past in the past, so new things could come in. Mercury and Sagittarius. Expect somebody to wanna. You could be seeing eight, 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 eight of Wands, Eight of Cups, Eight of Swords here. Somebody could be born on the eighth, the eighteenth. Um, the ninth, the twenty fourth of June, May, um, the sixth, the fourth, the second, the third, the eighth. All right. Yeah. Somebody's. Yeah, this Eight of Wands. Expect you mean What's this Eight of Wands about? Yeah, this the Eight of Wands is like things coming for Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Some of y'all are holding on too tightly. You could be like being super possessive. Some of y'all need to let go of something or someone. Open up your heart space because the Eight of Wands, your guides are trying to send something. The right, the wrong things are being blocked for your highest good. So if something isn't moving forward between you and somebody, it may not be the right time. It may not be the right person. Accept that and move on. Okay, stop trying to hold on something. Somebody could be holding on to your energy. Somebody could even be paying for spells. Somebody could be trying to manifest you back in. King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, Page of Swords. This king, whoever this King of Cups in reverse is, somebody could like to drink a lot. They could be emotionally unavailable, manipulative. They could already be with somebody. This person is watching you. This person could have called you some type of injustice. What's this page of swords? This per Empress here. Yeah, this could be this person's baby mother or their ex or the mother of their child, father of their child, or your mother or father of your child that could be watching you for some of you. 
Empress Taurus Libra energy. Some of you guys, you could be having trust issues. You may have a hard time opening up to people emotionally. Okay. What's this Empress here? Who's this Empress? The hair fun in reverse. Heavy Taurus energy. You can, you can have a Taurus placement. I'm doing Taurus next. You can have a Taurus placement. I feel like somebody's not really changing. They're not really doing the inner work. They're not growing. This Somebody's not your match. Just period. Somebody's You're out of somebody's league. Somebody doesn't want to learn. They think they know everything. Somebody could be a hypocrite. Some of you guys have some type of outdated beliefs surrounding, I guess, being a woman. Or if you're a man, you have some type of outdated beliefs about women. Or this is someone in your energy. Hero find in reverse. Somebody could be non-committal as well. Yeah, the hangman Pisces here. Yeah, something needs to, this could be outdated beliefs. Okay, traditions. Maybe for some of you guys, you need to go outside of your usual type. The hangman Pisces. Yeah, there needs to be a shift here. Some type of shift in your perspective. You need to see something different. See something more clearly. Okay. Three of Swords is here. Yeah, some of y'all are overthinking. There could be blocked communication. Your heart chakra could be blocked or you need to heal it. Okay. Some of y'all need to get into your heart space. You can't get through your heart. You can't get, somebody can't get to your heart through your mind, Gemini. All right. What's the, I mean, yeah, because we're air signs, but at the same time, no. Hey, man, if that makes, only my Geminis will understand. Hey, man. Yeah, Knight of Swords is here. For some of you guys, somebody's ex or this could be somebody that you work with. I don't know. Knight of Swords here, heavy Taurus energy. Somebody could be a May Taurus, a May Gemini. Somebody could be a, a false spiritualist here. I feel like somebody's trying to block your love life. This could be a mother figure, your mother, your uh, somebody's child's mother or father. Okay, Queen of Cups in reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, June Cancer, June Gemini. It could be another Gemini or, or somebody that's on a Ge Gemini Cancer cusp, Taurus. Uh, I heard Taurus Aries cusp and I heard Taurus, and Taurus Gemini cusp here. Capricorn, Leo is here. Something about an Aries. But Knight of Swords in reverse. Somebody, you're out of somebody's league, Gemini. Just plain and simple. Yeah, somebody's dealing with a, a mother figure who's or a father figure who's emotionally manipulative. Okay, you and your person could have, you know, if you have, if your heart isn't open, you're going to meet people whose hearts aren't open either. Okay, Knight of Swords in reverse. Be careful with distractions. Yeah, two of swords here. Moon and Libra. Some of you guys can have a moon and Libra. Two of swords, two of pentacles, two of cups. You could be seeing two, 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 which actually showed up on the clock at the beginning of your reading. I started this, well, it was two, two, two p.m. before I did your reading. Yes, everybody ain't worth your time. Two of swords here. Yeah, somebody here is like, somebody could be in denial. I feel like... Yeah, somebody may not know what they want, or somebody's trying to somebody's trying to block somebody's intuition. They trying to block somebody from coming towards you, or something. Two of Swords is here. Yeah, King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be a July Leo, July Cancer. This could be a man who's a warlock, and they're doing things passively. To either fuck with your self-esteem or to do things behind the scenes. You could have had a parental figure who would say or do things passively to fuck with your self-esteem. King of Wands. You can also be dealing with somebody that's not taking the lead. They could be more passive. This is a man that's very passive. This could be someone who's a tyrant of the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands in reverse and the Page of Wands in reverse. Somebody's energy is off. Somebody's energy is way off. This person could be in debt. Yeah, temperance, heavy sag here. This person could need your help. They, I don't know, something could be unrequited. They can't really give you much. This person could be charming, but they could be putting you in a third party. Some of you guys, they're dealing with a mother figure in your energy who's doing all of this, who's causing this. Someone here who could be doing spell work or they could know of you. They could have got you. They could have put you in harm's way because they're dealing with a crazy bitch. Or you, you putting people in harm's way because you're dealing with a crazy bitch. I don't know. Flip and switch it. Maybe somebody's trying to divorce or break up with somebody and they're not getting the hint. 
or they don't this somebody could be in denial about somebody being attracted to you or wanting you or it's like somebody doesn't want it's like somebody doesn't want to accept somebody's refusing to accept or see something for what it is and it could be this king of wands this false leader they have no backbone they're not confident they could be feeling fatigued they could be sick okay this person here is cocky they're a player you know just be careful here what's this they're not their intuition could be suppressed their heart chakra is blocked king of wands and mirrors yeah nine of wands moon and sagittarius this person could be having ptsd from whatever they were dealing with three of wands in reverse airy somebody could be suddenly returning to you or suddenly departing if somebody suddenly departs from your life please let them don't go chasing after them don't go chasing waterfalls don't go start questioning yourself don't start to overcompensate let people, if you want to reach out and say, hey, I noticed that you've been seeming a little bit distant. Is everything okay? If they say, yeah, everything is fine, leave it at that. Don't let nobody play games with you and confuse you. If somebody goes from being hot and cold, one minute they're super on you, and then they withdraw their energy, they're playing with you. Again, people could have things going on. Ask. If they don't want to tell you, that's not your business, but that's not an invitation for you to overcompensate or to chase. That's not it. Okay? If somebody wants to suddenly return back, you need to kind of make what's this person's motive and what do they have going on that they may not be telling you okay let's get some sharper messages somebody here is stubborn they refuse to change and that's why things aren't going their way in their life and you need to some y'all need to just go on to bigger and better yeah somebody's indecisive they can't make their mind up. This person could have too many options. They could be, they could be, they can have addictions. A lot of, I'm, I'm seeing substance, sex addictions. This person, you know, they got a lot going on. They could be sick sexually or physically. They could be uncertain. They could even be uncertain about their sexuality. This is somebody that's going to put you through the same thing all over again. So just be careful. Somebody is definitely unawakened and just lost. Somebody refuses. Yeah, look at this. The sacral chakra. Somebody is not comfortable in who they really are. Somebody has also, somebody's dealing with a lot of deep inner child wounds. And I feel like for, especially if you're an empress, for my men, if you're a woman, you're an empress. For my men, the empress is coming out because you guys could be healing your own mother wounds. You guys are realizing that you're, you're, you're worth more than providing for women. You're worth more than what you can give. You're, you deserve to be loved for who you are. You're not your your you're worth more than your penis and your money and your your most your for my men you're worth more than your penis and your pockets. For my women you're you're worth more than your beauty and your vagina. Okay, so somebody somebody here realizes their worth. The other person doesn't. And this is a twin flame dynamic. It's discombobulated. It's the contract is. I don't know. Okay, we got stubbornness. Yeah, somebody's very stubborn. They don't want to change. They, they, keep, they just want to do things their way, but their way isn't working. So tell me how that's tell me how that's supposed to work. If your way isn't working, it's clearly time for you to do something different. And if you're that stubborn, a person like that can't leave. A person who's trying to do things their way and their way only and their way isn't working. A per that's not a man that can lead you if you're a woman. And you're not a man that can lead a woman if this is you as that man watching. Okay, so pick who you are. Pick who's who. M lonely and misunderstood. That could be how somebody is feeling. Unawakened and feeling lost. Feeling unworthy. Somebody may not feel like they, they're, they're deserving of you. Pay attention to that because maybe they're not. And that's just the truth. If they're going to be like, oh, if that victim, oh, whoa, oh, I don't deserve you. You're too good for me. Thank you for telling me that. I'll I'll move on now. Oh, no. I remember I dated a Taurus. He was a Taurus son. Um, Sag Moon. Aries, Mars, like me. Gemini, Venus. And I think a Leo rising. But anyways, uh, he was from Haiti. And I remember when we was on when we first started dating. He was like, "Oh, I don't deserve you. I don't. I can't. I can't provide or take care of you. I don't. This is this is when my self esteem was in the pits of hell. I was in my. I was twenty three, and I was like, "No, I don't care what you do. I don't care what you have. It's not about that." That boy took me out on no dates. When he did get money, all he wanted to do was buy himself sneakers. I I had I was the one paying for. I would. I did everything in that relationship. So when somebody tells you that they don't deserve you, they can't give to you. Listen to that. All we did was fuck and argue. It was very codependent. Uh, but you know what? That relationship was what kickstarted 
me into learning about the chakras because you know what I started to question myself I said okay how did I attract somebody so stubborn so selfish so entitled so cold so like egotistical I said something is off and disimbalanced and in a disharmony within myself at 23 I realized that and then that's when I got, and that's when I came, I went, I, I got my first reading from a, a gypsy, you know, one of those people that be outside offering readings. And, but then I learned about the chakras. I started doing more yoga and then it snowballed into this. So I, I've been on my journey since from the age of 23, 24. So I've been on this for a while, about, I would say eight on the safe side, let's say eight, eight to 10 years. Okay, inability to give or receive freely. Yeah, somebody doesn't know they they somebody doesn't know how somebody you could be dealing with somebody that they they could be used to women or men who use them. So all they know how to do is be used. If you come in with your open heart, all they're gonna do is take from you. This person has a person with low self esteem cannot love a healthy person. They can't love nobody. They don't love themselves. All they're gonna do is try to take and con and take your kindness for weakness. If you don't know how to, if you only know how to give or receive. If you only know how to give but not receive, Gemini, you're going to end up attract, you're going to end up pushing away people who actually can meet you halfway, and you're going to end up stuck with people who only take from you. So you know what I'm saying? Somebody needs to open up their heart. Somebody can give and receive. If somebody gives, they think they own somebody. They think it has to come with strings attached. Maybe for some of you guys, you have a hard time asking. You don't know how to ask for what you want. We have, or if you're a man, you don't know, you feel like you're unworthy of love if you can't give financially. Feeling... Feeling insecure, yes. Unability to express yourself. I saw that son in reverse. Somebody has some inner child wounds that are suppressed. Somebody's been suppressed since they were a child. And, and they could have ended up with a, a, a partner that was just like their parent or, who, or whatever guardian made them feel suppressed. And now this person has been in a cycle of suppression, depression, oppression. And what can you do with that? What can you do with that? Low self-esteem, what can you do with that? Not trusting your own intuition, trust your intuition, trust what you, and even Gemini's, trust the green, don't just trust the red flags, trust the green flags you see in people. Don't focus on only the red flags, trust the green ones too. Don't forget to look for that too. Indecisive, I bet. Un, unable to self-reflect, somebody is not, yeah, of course somebody is not self-reflecting. They're not even, they don't even want to change. Somebody thinks because they look good or they can fuck good or 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 because maybe you've gone on this merry-go-round with them once meant too many times or a few times and then they can come back in. Don't let nobody play with you. Don't let nobody don't let nobody run that with that ten of wands in reverse. You lay something to rest. Don't restart with nobody that's gonna put you in the same shit all over again. For what? They're not your twin, and even if they are your twin flame, bye bye. Cause you're dealing with somebody here that could be connected to even a false empress. So even this, whether this person is your twin flame or not, you may need to, you need to tell this person bye bye. They got some shit with them. It's not and and you, what you're gonna be getting physically or spiritually attacked because this person has a crazy baby mother or a crazy baby father for what? Never that serious. Sacral chakra, emotions, creativity, sexuality, pleasure. The stones are carnelian, sunstone, snowflake, obsidian. The element is water. Archangel Zadikwil, it says, I am in touch with my feelings and I embrace my creativity and sexuality. Again, I am in touch with my feelings and I embrace my creativity and sexuality. Yeah, somebody's very suppressed. There could be creative blockages. Be careful with who you have sex with. If you're an empress, you can only have sex with your emperor or somebody that's like of status like you and when i mean of status i mean of spiritual status because if you have sex with the wrong people they're going to deplete your creativity you can have someone uh, uh there could be a masculine in your energy who's having sex with a false empress their baby mother or whatever woman in their life or you're a man having sex with a baby mother or a woman who's depleting your creativity through sex that's why that page of wands is in reverse that knight of wands is in reverse and that fucking king of wands is in reverse the queen of wands is the only one that was upright there's a woman siphoning a man's energy so whether you're a gemini man there's a woman siphoning your energy or if you're a gemini woman there's a man there's a masculine in your energy that has a woman that's siphoning his energy so you need to be careful this, whether it could be either somebody could be sick or this person if you fuck with them then that third party who's fucking with the person's energy that you're dealing with is going to fuck with your energy. So either way, something has been blocked for your highest good. Don't force it.
because you don't even know what's really going on. You need to use your discernment. Trust your instincts. Trust your intuition. Because with that Nine of Swords and the King of Wands in reverse, there could be a woman, somebody's baby mother. Maybe they know that this person loves you or has feelings for you or is obsessed with you or whatever this is. That, that person could want to try to attack you or want to put you in harm's way. Why should you be put in harm's way and get in the middle of somebody else's spiritual uh, bureaucracy or, or uh, a coven of fucking witch or being spiritually attacked because somebody can't cut a bitch loose? Or why should you put other people in harm's way because you can't cut a crazy bitch loose? Whichever way it's going, okay? I could be, you could be a Gemini man or a Gemini masculine watching. Yeah, suppressed anger. Somebody's dealing with somebody that's materialistic. They could they could be dealing with this. This person could be a gold digger. This, somebody's definitely doing spell work. Somebody's fucking with the energies. And this person knows this person is crazy. And yet they're trying to go date other people. My nigga or my bitch, please go heal and get your shit in order. Do not drag us into it. Don't drag nobody into your shit. Suffer in peace and su suffer in silence and suffer on your own. My misery don't like company, so I'm not going to sit in yours with you. Anyways, Gemini's like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.